as Aiden Sweat, the junior, will step in the batter's box. That one right off the end of the bat. Tejeda Jr. comes and gets it, and he flipped to Ryapel in plenty of time. So a nice job of just away from their home ballpark, just four and nine on the year. But that ball is hit hard and right off the glove of Ryapel. And that will allow Bringling to get to first base. So here's a 3-2 pitch. Runner is going, and that ball is drilled into the gap. Langford will cut it off, so that'll hold Runnels to a single, but first and third now for the cleanup man. 2-2 pitch, and a good slider there, and Lodis can't get the bat off of his shoulder. So a big strikeout for Tejeda Jr. That the runner at third is the guy they're worried about. 1-2 pitch, got him. Great job by Tejeda Jr. after giving up a couple of guys doing it. 1-2 pitch is a chopper out toward short. Lodis will get it and feature that strong arm. And it was home run number nine. This one is smoked, and there's that swing you're talking yeah. about. It'll rattle around in the corner, and that ball was absolutely drilled for a stand-up double. That's exactly what he did in BP right there. Every ball off his bat in BP looked like that. Another 0-2, breaking ball, and that one is popped up out towards right field. Nichols will drift in in a hurry and make the catch for the second out. Got a change up, blooped one into right, and that's going to have Langford around in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man, and a little nubber off the end gives the Gators an early one nothing. 71 in five innings. Rivera running, and the one-two is a check swing, but it'll be called strike three from the home plate umpires. So, yeah, one of my former players' sons is the Sunday guy, or at least the game three. The junior find it. This one is a chance for two. Rivera will step on the bag himself and pitcher's best friend after the leadoff walk. And there's two retired here in the second. That one will find center field. Curlin will cut it off, but obviously no chance at. Go well. This one right to Rivera again. He'll go the easy route and the flip to Curlin will retire the side. So a couple of base runners, but one, two pitches drilled. Deep left field, a no doubter, as Reich is just gonna run out of room. This one leaves the stadium, and Heyman does that for the eighth time this year, and it's two nothing Gators. Another freshman. Looking at each other. This one right to the second baseman. Aiden Sweat will have no problem with it. And Halter will ground out for the first time. So, and he'll get on base. Yeah, Draw on the wall. Yeah, he had the 18 home runs a year ago. The Gator nine hole hitter steps in. And he drills a first pitch. And that will be down in front of Nichols. So a good read there by Thomas as Robertson jumped all over that first pitch fastball. He is now hit. 2-0 to Curlin is right back to Love. He'll go to third for one, and that'll be it. So Love, instead of trying to get the inning-ending double play, chooses to get the lead out, and that will bring Langford up with two outs. Kind of cool. Langford, a little blooper out towards right. Nichols will try to come in and get it, but it'll be the second baseman Sweat stealing it, and that will do it. 2017. This one hit out towards left. Langford will drift back a few steps and be able to haul it in just shy of the track. Guy that was in a... This one is hit really hard by Brindling, but right where Robertson was playing him. And just like that, two outs in the inning. Gators hit Brian Clark was a place kicker and pitcher. Good pitch right there. Yuel Tejeda Jr. is a pitcher, and he's pitching tonight three zeros. Played second base. Another change up, and that one's got a chance to leave. That's how strong Jack Caglione is. Not going to get out of the yard. Yes, it is going to get out of the yard. Well, Nichols just looked at that ball, wondering what the heck went on with it, but Caglione just one handed a change up and got it out of here for the 24th time this year. Wow. They may challenge it here. Ah, yes, it didn't get out. And I think that's, that's.
was a crew chief review. University of North Florida still has two challenges remaining. This one will get Caglione over to third as Lodi's will make the play. Got a fastball and Ryapel popped it up. A little tardy on it into foul territory. Three Ospreys converge and that'll be a nice play. But tagging is Cags and the Gators are going to get a run out of it. Lodi's went and got. It's another change up but that one will be another chance for Lodi's. This time a much easier catch and he's got no problem. They've been swept, what, twice this season? And they're still ranked. Here's a little blooper to center. Robertson will try to get there but cannot. And that'll be a leadoff single for the shortstop. First time. And now maybe a double play victim. 6-4. Curlin has trouble getting it out of his glove though. And it will. This ball is hit pretty well out towards left. Langer got turned around and can't come up with it. So Nichols short hops the wall. And the Ospreys in business here now second and third and only one out. Yeah, he's going to get it. A couple of nasty sliders right there by Tejeda Jr. And including that guy we were talking about earlier in Mike Rivera. Here's a liner right to Curlin. And that will retire the side. So there's one in play. And that'll chase Reich back. He continues to go back towards the corner and will haul it in for out number one. Some things. Tyler Thompson moved into second base as this one is hit out into the gap in right center field. Brindlin trying to run it down, and he will. That's a speedy center fielder right there. Well, Roke will just miss with that one. A borderline pitch that he doesn't get the call with, and it'll be a two-out walk. A prolonged slump. Curlin pulls one. It'll be a tough play for the shortstop, but he'll make it. How about Lodi's? In line, no runs and just one walk. First pitch is right back to Ficarota, and just like that, one out. Come Hassi. 3 2 pitch to the leadoff man is another slow hopper. This will be a tough play. Ryapel has it. Flip to Fick, but it's not going to be in time as Sweat was able to beat it out. So an infield single for the lead. Yeah, you got three and four. Right after this one, so pay attention. There's a delayed steal, and Sweat's going to make it with ease. Yeah, di different, different deal. That was one to sleep. Three, two. That ball's hit pretty well. Thomas will try to run it down, but he won't. It's going to be over his head. Short hop in the wall. Brindlin's got his second hit, and Sweat hustling. Going to be a play at the plate. It's going to be tardy, and that ball will evade Ficarota, backing up the catcher. Not only did it get through, it got through the backup guy. Well, that one's going to get all the way to center field as Runnels just jumps in and jumps all over that first pitch and Ficarota. Good slider. And Lodi's did not have a good at bat there. You see a lot of these teams as there's a swing and a miss have issues with pop ups. But not this time as it's popped straight up the chute. That tough sky though. Shortstop can't see it, but second baseman Sweat can for out number one. And that's going to cause some wind on the swing and a miss. Another slider from Roca. Josh Rivera, the Gator shortstop, at the plate. And he'll hit one to pretty deep right field. Nichols will drift back, though. Stop just shy of the wall. And in the middle of the track, haul it in to retire the side. So another 1-2-3 inning. So you got to love that, Mr. Belmonte. This one... Right back to Abner, he'll bobble it and still make the throw in time. Yes, uh, this Wallace and I have seen. And it's going to be a tough play for Curlin. He'll come get it on the run, make the throw, but it's not in time. So another infield single. That's how the Osprey. Nichols, the hitter, hits one out towards Halter, and it's by him. Into left field for a base hit. Colby just couldn't get there right through the six hole. And the Ospreys here with a couple of base hits. Falls in two strikes, and Slater got him. That's a great job of coming back by the outs this year, hitting 222. And that's probably going to go down as this one goes out towards Langford, and the Gator left fielder has it to retire the side. So a good job by Slater getting a couple of outs. That Brady Bogart style of pitching. That's right. That one is hit hard, and that'll end the no-hit innings.
as Langford gets his second knock of the night. Good start for the Gators here in the eighth. Over at first, as the pitch comes in, a little flare out towards left. Ryish will come in and make the catch for out number one. He talked about it. Time for insurance because. Didn't matter as that pitch wasn't even close. So Gators have an opportunity now with their. So now a 2 2 pitch coming his way, and he hits that one hard and into right field for a base hit. Langford around in third, heading for home. He's a brown eyed, handsome man. Ryapel will try to get second, and he will. And that is a great at bat. Left on left, Ryapel gets his second RBI of the night. And in a 1 2 hole. But he's going to get him in. That ball is out in the gap in left center field. One run will score. And they will hold Ryapel, who had to see if that ball was going to get caught or not. But a big two strike base hit. In momentum. And he puts this one fair this time. Should be deep enough to score the run. Nichols with the catch. Ryapel with the tag, and he will easily score. Halter gets the RBI sack fly. And the Gators with a three spot. Evans will pop that one up. Ball above his hands is out towards the shortstop Lodies, and he will catch it and hope to hit. Good slider by Slater. There's another one, and there is out number one as he gets the strikeout. Another 2-2 pitch, and he won't get it as that one is lined into left field. So good job by Aiden Sweat, his second hit of the night, and the Ospreys still alive. And that one gets off the glove of Heyman all the way to the backstop. This one back up the middle. Rivera's got it right behind the bag, and his throw is in plenty of time to catch Brindling. So two outs here in the ninth. Right. And he will have to face the freshman shortstop. Park. And the 0-2 pitch is a deep fly out towards left. Robertson. Will drift out to the edge of the track and make the catch right up against the wall. And that'll do it. So a hanging slider, but it stays in the yard. And Slater will get the save as the Gators 